hey guys welcome back to my another video and in this video i'm gonna show you guys the how the timer and the interval works on rxjs operator so let's begin so i do have a project running here on a local host 4200 and this is my the uh the vs code and this is project is a boilerplate that comes with the angular and i haven't done anything on this one uh, so in, I have only one create one folder. It's empty folder nothing on it So now let me go to the app component and I'm, I'm going to remove and put here the test Okay, so once I save it now my this app will reload and it will give me a test here big test, right? So I'm not going to use any of the CSS here. I'm just going to show you how the timer works. It's pretty straightforward So now uh, I'm going to go in a component here here So the first thing is let me show you guys how the interval works. Okay, so now let me implement the uh, on init functions. Uh, sorry, on init interface. So I can get the uh, life cycle for this component. So here is ng on it. So so here, what I'm going to use, I'm going to show you the, how the interval works. So you directly go to the interval and in interval is basically it comes from the rxjs so basically the interval is uh, return the observable and uh, it will emit the infinite amount of the uh, the time and we can able to get the each of the time as a as a in the observable but i'm going to show you the with the example now how, how what is really meaning so basically in interval it's going to return me the uh in interval sorry in interval we can put like how many seconds does this interval works right how many does so if i put a 1000 which will be a milliseconds gonna be a one second then it's going to return me a observable so i can use this as observables here and whenever i could do a subscribe on this observable uh, so let me do a subscribe on this observable then it's gonna so the stream of this interval is going to trigger every one second so if I do console log here so every one second it's going to print it out right and we could also print this uh, the data in our HTML if I put the data here and this is going to be a number and the initial number let's say we have a zero then i can assign this data and i can assign this d and i can print it here the data right if i save it then i can see the number here it's been increase every one second because we put our interval here so basically interval will provide us the observable and each and every of the observable is going to trigger the stream it will make the stream of the lines and we can initiate it here how many the time of that stream if i do a two second then this guy will trigger on every two second okay this is how the interval works guys so now there is another one called the uh timer so how the timer work is basically the timer is also coming from the rxjs right and in this timer we have to put the two argument the first thing is uh, it's a due it's a due time what this really means is it's a delay delay time so it says you know i want to run this timer after five seconds and after five seconds how many time you want to run it maybe like one second every one second i want to run it but only after five seconds then we should use this if i put it here this observable and uh, i'll just come in and yeah it doesn't matter comment or not i put it different here but so now every five seconds it doesn't went to the five now so it will wait up to five and after five seconds it start running so did you guys see it after five seconds it start running yeah i put the number zero at the beginning i shouldn't put any number here so that's why it doesn't give me any number first so now after five seconds it start with the zero right it start with the zero so this is how the timer works and the interval the interval is exactly like a set interval what we have it in a in javascript 
uh, but we could of course use a set interval as well it works because we use TypeScript what we're using but in RxJS if we want to use it then of course we have to use I mean we it's better to use an interval or, or time in RxJS so that's all for this video guys I hope you guys learned it this is very quick videos so it's straightforward and uh, thank you very much for watching this videos bye for now